Hello students, today we're going to be talking about our cells labs when we're going to be using our microscopes to look actually look, actually look at cells in the classroom. And so we have two labs. One of them is the onion cell lab, which will show us the parts of the plant cell. And the second lab will show us the human cheek cell lab, which will show us the parts of the animal cell. Yay, very fun. So the first thing we want to remind you is that there are three parts to the cell theory. We've spent a good amount of time talking about this in class, and you boxed or highlighted or circled the cell theory in your workbook. Just as a reminder, though, there are three parts. Part number one, all living things are made of cells. And part number two, the cell is the basic unit of structure and function, function in living things. And all cells come from existing cells. Make sure you know all three parts of that. The, those all three parts will be on your lab quiz. So we just need to review what do these four important parts of the cell do. These would be some of the parts that will be fairly easily recognizable in the labs, both the onion cell lab and most of them in the cheek cell. So the cell membrane. What's the job of the cell membrane, Mrs. Beniski? Well, the cell membrane is a thin, flexible outer covering of all cells that allow things uh, materials like oxygen and water and carbon dioxide to go back and forth through the membrane. So it's kind of like the security guard of the cell. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Cool. And then the cytoplasm is another part of cells, of all cells. The cytoplasm is the... It's uh, like the ahead. filler of the cell. All the other organelles are floating in it. If the cell was a bowl of chicken noodle soup, the cytoplasm would be the broth with oh. all the noodles and chicken and bits of... Yeah. of carrot floating around in it. So the liquidy part of your cells. Yes. And then of course we have the nucleus, which is, uh, we've learned as a part of our studies, is the brain of the cell. It's a control center. It's where the instructions for what to do are found in uh, the cell. Yes, and lastly the cell wall. The cell wall is there to support and protect the outside of the cell. It's, I'm sorry, it's around the outside of the cell, there to support and protect what's inside a specific type of cell, right, Mrs. Beniski? Mm -hmm. And of course, it's only found in one type of cell. It's not yeah. found in animal cells. It's only found in plant cells mm -hmm. and bacteria cells and fungal cells, but we'll get to those later on. But for today, we need to know that it's not found in animal cells. So that brings up this next slide. Which parts are in animal cells? Well, yeah, all of those except uh, for the cell wall. So cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, all in animal cells. The only thing that's not found in the animal cell, and it is found in the plant cell, is the cell wall. But all those other three are found in plant cells, too. So here comes a little video. Uh, here's a little dude. He's got a little, uh, he, he's got a little bit of a British accent, but I think you'll be able to hear him clearly. We're going to play this for you. And we're going to let you watch how these, cell, these slides are, are um, going produced. to be prepared. AS and the V2, you have to be able to prepare rather simple plant cell slides and animal cell slides. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to prepare a plant cell slide. Because the cells are going to be seen with a light microscope, we have to have a simple layer of cells. An onion quite simply peels into different layers. Peel off a section of the onion, get our scalpel, and slice a small section of the onion. We'll do the cutting and for you. What I'm ideally trying to get is a small square of cells to go on the center of the slide. However, if I put this onto the slide and try to view it with the light microscope, it would be too thick. Thankfully with onions, the inside layer of cells just on the, the lighter surface of the onion will peel off. But once again, if I put this under the light microscope, these cells are almost colorless. You wouldn't see anything. So to be able to see the cells, I'm going to have to put some stain onto them. One of the most common stains for plant cells is iodine. Now it does take a few minutes for the iodine to actually stain. So I would leave this for approximately three or four minutes before taking a thin glass cover slip and then very gently place the cover slip 
over the top of the cells. But what you mustn't do is press on top of the cover slip, because if you do that, you'll break, actually break your cells, and when you look at it under the microscope, you won't see what you're trying to find. This is how to prepare an animal cell slide. It's even easier than preparing a plant cell slide. The most easily accessible animal cells from our bodies, you might be surprised to hear, actually come from inside our mouths. So we're going to be looking at cheek cells, which are obviously from a human, which makes them an animal cell. Inside our mouths, around the gum line, the cells come off quite easily. Now, by placing a cotton bud into your mouth and rubbing it quite simply along the inside of your gum line and up along your cheek, you may not be aware of it, but actually what you're doing is you're scraping off cheek cells and you'll also take some saliva as well. It's quite handy to get the end of your cotton bud quite, quite damp really with good saliva. It's quite nice. Take your slide and your saliva covered cotton bud and cheek cells and rub them onto the inside or centre of your slide like that. Now all it will look like on your slide is a damp patch with maybe a few blobs on it. The few blobs that you can see are going to be the cheek cells. They're obviously see-through and you won't see them on the light microscope. So what you need to do is to take your methylene blue dye and you place a drop or two in the centre of your slide. And once again, you gently drop the cover slip over the top of the stain. Nice. And there you have your prepared animal Great. cell slide. Great, look at those cells. <laughs> So we're going to get on to the next slide. Great video. One thing I want to point out about the cheek cell slide at the end, you're going to throw that cotton swab right away in the garbage. Oh, yeah. Do not leave that on the counter, on your desk, on your lab table. It is flu season. That is grossy, gross, gross. Throw yep. it in the garbage. Right there. We'll have a garbage can handy for you. So very simple directions. The onion cell lab, the first one we'll do. You make, you get a very thin layer of onion, the onion skin, the epidermal cells of the onion, and put it on a slide. You're going to stain it with iodine. Here in America, we usually say iodine. I think he said iodine. He did. Yes. And then uh, you're going to put a cover slip on it. Uh, if you have any excess iodine, iodine on your slide, make sure you dab it, you know, blot it off with a little paper towel and then do it under the microscope. Remember, low power, coarse focus, medium power. Course focus. focus. High, High power. power. Fine, Fine focus. focus. Yay. I do think that you're going to be more successful looking at the uh, onion in the low and the medium, but we'll get there. Um, here's a little picture of somebody peeling their onion skin. That's how thin you want your, your peel to be. It's almost like um, saran wrap, it that is. thin yeah. um, of yep. a slice of skin. And if you you notice that it might want to roll up a little, a little moisture, a little water on there, it'll keep it from rolling. You'll, uh, we'll be here to help you. And then under the microscope, after it's been st stained, this is what you should see. You see those, they see the cell wall all uh, stained, and you see some nuclei. You don't, you see <clears throat> a very basic. You don't see everything in a cell, do you? No. Yep. We are not seeing all the th parts we've learned about. Yeah on friday's lab now yeah the cheek cell so you're going to be looking next in your next lab at the cheek cell of a human so an animal cell again reminder all you're going to do is dab the slide with the swab that you took from your cheek or your lab partner's cheek i you're said gonna... scraping there because sometimes people use a tooth thick but i think we're going to use some tooth uh, some cotton -tips swabs for that. Yep. yes and then you're just simply going to use a stain of methylene blue that's what soaks best into um, animal cells the layers, the cell membrane around animal cells, and you're going to view it under your microscope, and it should look like this. And that looks like a high power view for me, uh, in in my idea. With the okay. cheek cells, you want to be really patient with yourselves Oops. and your I'll partners. This is tougher to find than the um, plant cell, so you have to be patient. Please give yourself at least five minutes of searching before you come up and say. It didn't work. We can't find anything. Because chances are there is a specimen there. You just have to hunt a little harder for it. And when you start in low power, oftentimes you just see a bunch of blue dots. So yeah. try focusing on those blue dots. You guys are getting good at microscopes. We know you can do it. Okay, and then the thing you need to show us is a lab report. And you're going to find uh, uh, that you need to, there's a, an example on the Moodle of the, of the how you can make the diagrams for each cell. You need uh, two powers for each cell so in uh in ideally in the onion skull you're going to use show us a drawing in low power and in medium power 
And for the cheek cell, we're asking for medium power and high power. And mm -hmm. again, you're going to use your own original drawings that you create through the drawing tool on your Google account. Yeah. And then, uh, and you can use also use the the drawing tools. You can make a line there to with the text box to put the labels to all the parts that you can see. So in the cheeks, in the excuse me, in the the onion cell, we would expect to see the cytoplasm, the cell wall, the nucleus, and you could even label the cell membrane in that. Mm -hmm. In the onion cell, oh, I said it back, I said it backwards again. In the cheek cell, we would expect to see the nucleus the cell membrane, and the cytoplasm, but no cell wall. No cell right? wall. Okay. And then, of course, there will be some lab questions for you to answer, also found on the Moodle. This is a great, uh, this lab is a, a so much fun, and we know that you'll do a great job. So let's, we'll see you in the lab.